Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see more past paper questions based on cost graph. Let's get started. Let's see our first question. This is the graph we have in front of us. They show that the figure shows the part of the graph of y is equal to p plus q cos r x. Find the value of each of the integers p, q and r. If we compare this with our general equation, what is our general equation? Our general equation is c plus a cos b x. This is our general equation. If we see from here, the value for a is q here. So q will be our amplitude. Let's write down here. Q is our amplitude. If we compare that the b value, the here b value is equal to r. So the R will show you the number of cycles inside the period. So that will give you cycles. If we compare the value for C, C is equal to P. So P will be your axis. Let's write on the axis here. So this will be our axis. As we know that our graph, the maximum value is 6 and the minimum value is minus 2. So the middle of these two values will be your axis. What is the middle of these two values? How to calculate that? You have to take 6 and then minus 2, you have to add it divided by 2. Like you are taking the mean of the two values. If we add it 6 plus of minus 2 divided by 2 which is equals to 6 minus 2 over 2. That is equals to 4 by 2, which is equals to 2. That means my axis is at 2. Let's draw the axis first. So this is our axis. This shows that the value of P is 2. That means 2 is our axis. Now I need to find out the amplitude. How many units it is going above the axis and how many units it is going below the axis. So 2 is here, the 4 is here and the 6 is here. In between we have this is 3 and 5. This will be 1 and minus 1. So our amplitude will be 1, 2, 3, 4 units. 4 units it is going above the axis, 1, 2, 3, 4 units it is going below the axis. So our amplitude is 4. That means the value for Q is 4. Now I need to find out the number of cycles. This is our cost function. Our basic cost function starts from 1. It will touch the axis, it will go down, it will again touch the axis and it will come back to 1 again. This is our 1 cycle. As we can see from here, this graph goes from 0 to 2 pi. So 2 pi is the period of the cost graph. I need to see that how many cycles are there inside 2 pi radian. Let's count it. So our graph starts from here. It touches the axis. It goes down and it will again touch the axis and it come back here. So my one cycle completes till here. So how many cycles are there inside 2 pi radian? Let's count it. This is our first cycle. Then again the cycle starts, this is our second cycle. Again the cycle starts and this will be our third cycle. That means within 2 pi radian I have 3 cycles. The value for R will be equal to 3. Let's see one more example. The diagram shows the graph of Y is equal to A cos BX plus C. For x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 360 degree, where a, b, c are the positive integers. This is the graph we have. State the value of each of a, b and c. As we can see from here, this is our cos function. To get the axis of this one, the maximum value here is 7 and the minimum value is 1. To get the middle value of this one, I need to add them. So 7 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 8 by 2 that is equals to 4. That means my axis is at 4. I need to plot all the values between 1 and 7. Let's plot it. This will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. He says that my axis is at 4. Let's plot the axis at 4. This is my axis. Our axis is the c value so the c value is 4 let's write down the value for c here the value for c is 4 that means our axis is at 
4. I need to find out my amplitude. Amplitude is A here. The value for A will be getting by seeing how many units it is going above the axis and how many units it is going below the axis. So this is our axis. It goes 1, 2, 3 units above the axis, 1, 2, 3 units below the axis. That means the value for A is 3. Let's write down the answer here. The value for A is 3. Now I need to get the answer for B. B will show you number of cycles inside your period. Let's see our graph first. Our graph starts from 0 degree to 360 degree. 360 degree is the period of our cost cycle. I need to check that how many cycles are there inside 360 degree. We know our basic cost graph. So it will start from here. It touches the axis. It goes down. It touches the axis and it will reach to the amplitude again. This is our one cycle. How many cycles are there inside 360 degree? Let's count it. So this is our first cycle. Again, the cycle starts and it will touch and there will be two cycles inside 360 degree. The value for B is 2. Let's write down the answer here. The value for B is 2. Let's see one more example. This is the graph is in front of us. They are asking, the graph shows the curve y is equal to a cos bx plus c for x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2.8, where a, b, c are the constants and x is in radian mode. The curve meets the y axis at 0, 3. So this is the point where the curve meets and the x axis at the point p, this is the point on x axis and the point r, 5 pi by 6, 0. This is the another point we have. The curve has a minimum point at Q. This is our minimum value at Q. The period of A cos Bx plus C is pi radian. Find the values of each of A, B and C. As they have given us the period is pi radian, we can easily get the value for B that how many cycles are there inside our 2 pi radian period. Let's calculate that. So the value for B will be given by 2 pi over period. Our period is given by pi. So let's write on the value here pi. Pi will got cancelled from pi and the value is 2. This gives you the value for B is 2. This is our first answer. Now to get the next answer for the values for A and C, we need to substitute these values inside our curve. Let's substitute 0, 3 in our given curve. So this is 0 is our x value. 3 is our y value. Let's substitute the value here. 3 is equal to a cos. The value for b is 2 and the x is 0 plus c. 3 is equal to a cos 0 degree plus c. 3 is equal to a cos 0 plus c. Cos 0 we know that it is 1. So it will be equal to 3 is equal to a 1 plus c which will be equal to 3 is equal to a plus c. This is our first equation. Now we have to get the second equation. I need to substitute this value 5 pi by 6 and 0 in our curve. 5 pi by 6 is x value and y value is 0. Let's substitute the value here. So 0 is equal to a cos the value for b is 2 x value is 5 pi by 6 plus c. Here 2 will got cancelled from 6 and it will be 3 here. 0 is equal to a cos 5 pi by 3 plus c. I need to calculate the value for cos 5 pi by 3. You can easily get it from the calculator but if you don't have the calculator how do we do that? That will be written as cos 2 pi minus pi by 3. If I write it like that, my answer is again 5 pi by 3. If I solve this, my answer will be 5 pi by 3. Now I need to find out the answer for this. As we know that 2 pi cos will not change, cos will remain cos only. Let's substitute the value here. So 0 is equal to a, cos will remain cos. 2 pi minus, that means I am reaching to the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, cos theta is positive. It will be positive sign in front of that and the angle pi by 3 will come up plus c. If I solve that, 0 is equal to a cos pi by 3 plus c. The value of cos pi by 3 is half. Let's substitute the value here. 0 is equal to a half plus c. 
If I take the LCM here, this will be written as A plus 2C by 2. If I do the cross multiplication on this side, that will be equal to 0 is equal to A plus 2C. This is my second equation. I need to solve my second and the first equation together to get the value for A and C. Let's solve it. So this is our second equation. I will write down the first equation below this. So my equation is A plus 2C is equal to 0 and A plus C is equal to 3. Let's solve it together. The coefficient of A is both positive. So I need to change the sign. So I'll change the bottom sign. This positive will become negative. Positive will become negative. Positive will become negative. Negative and positive will got cancelled. So A cancels out from here. 2C minus C is C only that was equals to minus 3. So the value for C is minus 3. Let's substitute this value of C in equation number 1. While substituting in equation number 1, I will get A minus 3 is equal to 3. Move this 3 on right hand side, you will get A is equal to 6. This is the value for A. So the values for A is 6, C is equal to minus 3 and B is equal to 2. Let's see the next part here. Find the coordinates of P. How to get the coordinates of P? First, we will write down our curve in terms of A, B and C. We will substitute all the values and we will see that how our curve looks like. So let's substitute the value here. Our curve will become Y is equal to 6 cos 2x minus 3. That will be our cos. As we can see from the graph, the P value is the, it is on the x axis on the x axis y coordinate is 0 let's substitute the y coordinate 0 here 0 is equal to 6 cos 2x minus 3 move this 3 on left hand side it will become 3 is equal to 6 cos 2x divide this 6 on left hand side it will be 3 over 6 is equal to cos 2x 3 will get cancelled from 6 and it will be 2 here so cos 2x is equal to half. The value for half in cos is pi by 3 radian. Let's substitute the value here. Cos 2x is equal to cos pi by 3. Cos pi by 3 is half. As we compare cos values which will give you 2x is equal to pi by 3. This gives you x is equal to pi by 6 radian. So our P coordinate is pi by 6 radian and the value for Y is 0. This is our P value. Let's see the next part here. Find the coordinates of Q. As we can see from the curve here, Q is the minimum point we have. To get the minimum point here, the X coordinate will be the middle of these two values. To find out the value for the middle part, we need to do the mean of these two values. To get the mean of these two values, we will add both of them divided by 2. So the P coordinate is pi by 6 and the R coordinate is 5 pi by 6 and then divided by 2. If I solve it here, the X coordinate will be given by 6 pi by 6 divided by 2. 6 got cancelled from 6 and it will be pi by 2 radian. So the X coordinate is pi by 2. If I substitute this X is equal to pi by 2 in my given curve, my curve will become Y is equal to 6 cos 2 pi by 2 minus 3. This is our curve. I substituted the value here. 2 got cancelled from 2 here. You will get y is equal to 6 cos pi minus 3. The value for pi is equal to minus 1. y equal to 6 minus 1 minus 3. That will be equal to y is equal to minus 6 minus 3. y is equal to minus 9. So the coordinates of Q are pi by 2 radian and minus 9. That will be our answer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.